Hey there everybody, it's me, Dio Gen Z. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Jurassic Park Trespasser. Last episode, we just crushed this raptor with a jeep, and it was totally awesome. Question is now, how do we get over this thing? Uh, I don't think we can jump over it. So... Huh. Alright, let's try and get the gun first. Or not. Just drop that too. Out of the many glitches that we've come to know and love. I'll just throw that over there because I don't think we're going to make it through this without losing the gun. I wonder if we could actually... Oh, yep, we can. We can squeeze past that. Whether we're supposed to or not. And go in for the grab, and we're good. Now let me just readjust my focus here. Because that's one of the annoying things about holding an item is that you gotta readjust your screen all the time. You gotta have the hold your arm out button and oh man, it's crazy. But once it's uh, auto adjusted or readjusted, I should say, it's not so bad. I find that it's a lot easier to carry weapons and guns and things of that nature than it is to carry a key card which you'll see in later episodes why we're going to be carrying that. But I wonder if we can actually climb up that. I guess not. I don't want to cause any glitches to this game more than uh, is necessary for this walkthrough. Slash let's play. Oh great, two raptors on the horizon. Oh my god, is it... Freaking T-Rex, you gotta be kidding me. Holy shit, I am just booking it. I'm not even gonna bother shooting. Run, 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 run. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, when I first tried out this game and the T Rex first appeared, oh man, he had the same effect on me. That was definitely one of the high points of this game, was the dinosaurs scared the crap out of you. And, I mean, it's not like a horror film thing or anything like that, but you do feel a sense of impending doom when you see a Tyrannosaurus Rex charging at you, even if he's running sideways, which does happen sometimes. So, let's see if we can actually get in here and kind of get a closer look without getting eaten by raptors or killed by that T-Rex. Now, I wonder if this is going to be like the scene at, a, um, at the end of Jurassic Park where the T-Rex comes in and kills all the raptors. Alright, see, he's coming at us sideways, so I'm just gonna get out of the way. Again, we kinda see that rigid motion in the dinosaurs, even if uh, it was meant to be more fluid, just because things were cut out and uh, motion files were removed. I don't know if it was exactly the file, but coding was altered, just for everything to fit well. So I don't want to stick around for that guy. Up ahead I can see a herbivore, so we're probably safe by him. I don't know if that T-Rex is still tracking us, but we should be okay for now. Moving across this wide open field. Again, another great thing about this game was the fact that the environments were just so enormous. And it also contained great memory, which, what I mean by that is that if you kill a raptor and you trek all the way across the valley, if you come back, its body is still going to be there, lying in the position that you killed it in. Now, I'm not actually sure what dinosaur this is here. I haven't seen this one very often. But it's one of the herbivores in Trespasser. And holy crap! He followed us all the way here, you gotta be kidding me. Get the hell back. Back up. I don't want to provoke it with my gun, I feel that if I... Alright, he's going, maybe. Damn. Yeah, I think if I shoot that thing, he's probably gonna chase me more. And I know I can't take him out with the amount of bullets I have. It is difficult to take out T-Rex. Alright, let's see if we could... Oh, man, I think he's gonna feast on that thing. So much for the herbivore. Oh well. That was one of the really cool things left in the game, was the fact that dinosaurs could eat each other. 
And if you're smart about it, you can actually use that to your advantage. Kind of dis... Uh, what was that? Did a little squat there. Right? So those are some of the rigid and weird animations that you can find in this game. Just odd things, like that T-Rex doing a little squat dance, or whatever that was. Uh, but if you use the dinosaurs tactfully, or tactically, not tactfully, um, you can actually use them to your advantage. And just before, I kind of distracted those raptors with the T-Rex. I don't know if that was just luck of running fast enough and far enough, or if that was exactly the T-Rex doing the distracting. But now I want to kind of get in this gorge here. And before I was able to go over to this little peak here, just to cut out some time, and I wasn't actually sure the first time I ran through this if there was raptors down there, uh, but I was able to get down there from this cliff. But after falling many takes and dying, I decided that, you know what, it's going to be much safer if we go down this path. We're still cutting out some time, and I dropped my gun, so let's get that again. Uh, it still cuts out going back all the way to the T-Rex. I'm sure he's feasting at this point, but I don't need to get in his way. And I believe that's the first gigantic carnivore we've seen on the island. There is another one. But I won't mention it now, I'll let that be a surprise for later episodes. But overall, I was kind of surprised they didn't have more carnivores in this game. I tell you what though, they do a damn good job of making this game hard with Velociraptors. There's three classes of Velociraptors, and you can tell the different classes by their different colorations. So, basically they have a different texture. And, uh... I don't know, I do believe that their patterns of movement are different. I think they behave different just in what I've seen playing through this game. Uh, but I don't know if that's true. That might be false. I, I know that for certain they might take more more hits, uh, they might take more damage. But again, this could be due to the inconsistencies of the gun controls, so I'm not sure. Oh, crap, another raptor. There's one behind us, two in front of us. I'm gonna book it. Run! Oh crap, don't eat me. Go, 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 go. Now see, this is something that we're gonna be doing a lot of, is fleeing from raptor packs like that. I have not, I do not have a sufficient amount of ammo to take them all on. And there's no buildings to run into, so we just gotta bunny hop our way to safety. And at a certain point, when you stop hearing them roaring at you, you're probably safe. So let's just keep going down the chasm here. Of Raptor Valley. No, this is actually Raptor Canyon. There's a Raptor Valley in this game too, and it's nuts. We'll get to that later. Now see, I like to check behind me to make sure there's nothing following me before I slow down. But uh, I think we're safe, so we can continue on. We almost became like that uh, past dinosaur. Just a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, this place gets pretty hectic. And I find that the best strategy is just run like heck. Alright, now we gotta go up there. That can kind of be difficult sometimes because the ground is deceiving. Plus we got Velociraptors. Oh. And just got some fall damage too. And there's a Velociraptor. Great, I did not mean to slide down that cliff. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't know exactly when you're going to slide off a platform, and you don't know when you can climb others. Oh, come on. No invisible wall. No invisible wall. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is not too steep. This is what you're supposed to do. Go, go, go. Ah! See, most of this game is uh, just frantically trying to get past glitches. That's what makes it so difficult. It looks like I'm going to have to kill this guy. Wow. He's full of blood. Done. Alright, let's see if we can go up here now. Still can't go up here, huh? Okay, so apparently there's an invisible wall there, guys. And somehow these guys are miraculously dead. I have no idea what killed them. That's kind of weird. 
I mean, they were just alive a second ago. I, I didn't make any edits here that they were alive. Alright, well, continue onward, I guess. What did that steel thing, like... That's from a, that's from a helicopter, actually. That's one of the Easter eggs, actually, I'm showing off here, is the fact that there is a crashed helicopter here. Let's see if we can find the rest of it. There we go. There it is. See a little Easter egg for you guys. Crashed helicopter from who knows where. But there is a gun there. We'll take advantage of that. Yeah, so I seriously don't know what killed those raptors, but that was lucky for us. See, you have to fight the glitches, and the glitches are sometimes on your side. It's it's crazy. Alright, let's not get stuck on that helicopter there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, trekking onwards. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, most of this game's um, sense of urgency comes from the fact that you can't climb up something that looks simple to climb, and there's a pack of raptors following you, and just by default you're going to die. But that's why you have to save often in this game. But luckily for you guys, I was wise and cut out all the saving that I did, just so it's a nice smooth video and we don't have to stop midstream for saving. Because I do save a lot in this game and sometimes it gets ridiculous. Usually I'll save before tricky jumps. Right, I think we should be good. Yep. Alright. Now see, when it's like one raptor like that, I have no problems taking it out. It's when we get into a pack of raptors and there's some behind us, in front of us, that's when you get screwed. That's why if you guys see a, a raptor on the horizon, you'll notice that um, a lot of the times it's just frozen. It's in its um, T form, I guess you could call it. If you guys have ever done any brawl hacking or editing, modding, things like that, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say T form. And basically that's just the model's base form, it's stiff uh, skeletal structure basically. And um, you know, it's just, it looks like a cutout in the distance. But when you see raptors moving like that, um, that one is right there, just mainly let it come to you. Because if you go in thinking that you're just going to shoot it right in the face with your gun and have no problems, you'd be wrong. Because a lot of the times, uh, something will go wrong with the gun, you'll drop the weapon when you get too close to the raptor, or bullets won't even hit it for some reason. It becomes an invincible raptor. So let the raptors come to you, and be wary of what their movements are. If you see a raptor moving, it is aware that you are alive, and it probably will want to eat you. If you see a raptor off in the distance that's just kind of frozen and not moving, it's not activated yet. Basically, you're not close enough for the game to realize that you are in existence. And that's why you can take advantage of the fact that we can run like heck and eventually get farther away from the raptors. Far enough to where they don't even know we're around anymore. It's kind of ridiculous, but, you know, you gotta work with the game, not against it. Because if you work against it, it will glitch you to hell. Now that last raptor we actually took out is crucial for this next uh, obstacle here. Before we continue on, just get a nice look at the forest out there. That's where we were. We've gone pretty far so far in this uh, Let's Play. Now it's been not too long, but we've already seen a lot of the island. We've gone on monorail trips and raptor canyons. Got past that Tyrannosaurus Rex, which was pretty cool. He didn't really pose much of a challenge, but he was making some interesting movements. I don't know, I get very nervous when the T-Rex is around and I'm low on bullets. Because I know you just can't waste a T-Rex in one shot. Not even a headshot will take him out. Let's try and take this guy out. Come on. Ah! Alright, see that's what I'm talking about. Ah, yeah, yeah. Random raptor running when guns fail. Alright guys, well, we are almost out of time, and I hate to leave you on this cliffhanger here, but as I run through this valley and try and lose this raptor on my tail, uh, I will see you on the next episode, and hopefully we will survive this. Ah, keep running, keep running. Run to the hill.